My name is Mark Gunnels. I'm just a kid from Kansas City. I worked my way out here to Los Angeles, and my ultimate dream is to be a part of something that I've loved my entire life, and that's to be involved in the sports world. This is me. LeBron's the GOAT. Everybody knows LeBron's the GOAT. You know why LeBron's the GOAT? Just look at him, first of all. He's 6'8", 275, runs like a freight train. He's a walking triple-double. He's the best all-around player we've ever seen before. Gets you the points, the rebounds, blocks, assists, steals. He does it all. He has no weaknesses in his game at all. You look at Jordan. No disrespect to Jordan. He's a great player as well. But look at the era he played in. So, Paul, what are your strengths on the field right now, and what are some areas you feel like you can improve on? Um... One of my biggest strengths, I feel like I'm real versatile. Um, I can play safety, free safety, corner, linebacker. Um, I got great closing speed. I feel like that's another big strength of mine. I have good hands, I have good feet, great size, good speed. I feel like I can compete in the NFL. Um, I can move around all throughout the secondary. I play linebacker, corner, safety, free safety. Um, I got great closing speed. I get complimented on that by the scouts all the time. I have uh, good hands, good speed. Uh, pretty much I'm a complete package as a DB, I, I believe. And uh, things I need to improve on, I need to improve on everything. Like, I just want to be the best. Let's talk about your previous season with Brooklyn. How was it? First of all, let's start from the beginning. How did you get signed? What was the process? I know you were playing uh, in the D League. You played in the Summer League last year with the Miami Heat, I believe. So. Was Brooklyn just kind of keeping an eye on you? How was that process like? Well, this actually was really funny. Um, actually, I went to training camp with Brooklyn, uh, not this past season, but the year before, and they cut me. Um, so I ended up going overseas. I played in the D League, then I went to Dominican Republic and played overseas. Uh, came back and played Summer League for the Miami Heat. Played really well in Summer League. And uh, I played really well in Summer League, and after I did that, they ended up decided that they wanted to, to sign me, Brooklyn wanted to sign me, so I got the opportunity to be able to do that. and um, That was just great for me to be able to, to have the opportunity to be able to be there in Summer League where every NBA team can watch me, and I was able to succeed. The third team I'm looking forward to seeing, this team isn't really a surprise team, so I shouldn't have said that, but this is the team that I really want to see can't live up to the expectations, and that's the Oakland Raiders. Because on paper, to me, they're the second best team in the AFC heading to the season behind New England. I know it's going to make a lot of people upset, but to me, that's just the obvious truth. I mean, if you look at their way they're built, it's, if Derek Carr never gets hurt, they probably go a little further than what they did in the playoffs, first of all. And secondly, their defense is very underrated. You got Khalil Mack. You got a, a decent secondary. It's not the best, but it's decent. But like I said, their offense has potential to be probably the best in the league this year with Derek Carr and then – who knows how Marshawn Lynch is going to return, but I assume he's going to be very, very productive in that system because they have guys that can open up the field on the outside with Cooper. And then you got um, Crabtree. He had a pretty good back, bounce back season last year. And then Derek Carr to me is a top five quarterback right now. He's very elite. And then you add a Marshawn Lynch in that back backfield. I mean, I think that could be very, very scary for a lot of teams.